to expect. Mm. Well, I'm going to tell you straight out, I have never been to a place where I should have been scared. I have never seen that. Mm -hmm. But to the evidence and everything else and the stories, mm -hmm. everything I have has a story with it. And if I didn't have a story with it, I wouldn't send you right now. I wouldn't say, ooh, I seen my Uncle Harry last night. He was out there in the yard, and he was this and that and this. Mm -hmm. I better have proof of me. Ooh. And I'm, I'm talking about myself now. Maybe you saw Uncle mm -hmm. Harry out there. Yeah. But if you ain't got proof that Uncle Harry was out there, mm -hmm. don't tell mm -hmm. people you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because so many, anybody, just like psychics, Mm -hmm. Anybody on the face of this earth can run their mouth, but proving it is a different ball game. Mm. And Alan, it? yeah, it is. And Alan, I don't want to let you go without. You have a website there. Well, no, it's it's what, what, go to the uh, Waynesboro uh, Paranormal in uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Waynesboro, Virginia. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing they have to do. Just put a search on Waynesboro Paranormal. Yeah, right. I think you've got it on your. Uh, do. Your site under right my there. name, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just go to that, and uh, it'll be right there. And I, I wish I'd have had time to talk to you about the uh, Cash Town Inn in uh, mm -hmm. Gettysburg. Okay. I was up there. Did you see where Taps had went to the Cash Town Inn this year? Um, I might have seen that one. I'm not sure what it was. I've seen. Okay. Him well, I, I investigated Cash Town two weeks before they did. Really. And I was I was special guest with the uh, peer. Uh, Paranormal Society up in New Oxford that's seven miles from Cashtown. And I got so much stuff at Cashtown, it was honestly and truly ridiculous. But I got it. Huh. And when I say I got it, there's one thing I've never, ever, uh, I want everyone to know it. I, I'll take polygraph tests. I'll do anything I have to do. I've never lied about anything I've got. It's either happened or it hasn't happened. But we got so much stuff out of the Cash Town Inn mm -hmm. in, in Gettysburg. It was ridiculous. And then it was so disappointing to see Taps go up there and find one or two things mm -hmm. that uh, I couldn't agree with because I'd done been there. I, I know what's there. Uh -huh. When you but, say, when, uh, when you if say, anybody ever gets do what, sir? When you say you have stuff, what, what, what type of stuff did you do you have? Well, I've got like the EVPs. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. My wife is a very, very, very uh, debunking person. Okay. All right. She does not talk into a, a tape recorder. Mm -hmm. We had another investigator by the name of Jan. Now, this was in the uh, pedigree room of the Cash Town Inn. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm going to say is because this is a very sad thing that's on tape. Well, Jan is an excellent, excellent investigator. By that, I mean she asks a question, mm -hmm. you know, with a firm voice. <clears throat> she'll pause, and then she'll ask another question. Well, my wife wasn't talking at all because she doesn't like to hear her voice on a uh, uh, tape player. She had took a GE tape recorder and set it eight feet on the mantel away from Jan and herself, and both yeah. of them sit on the bed. All right. Now, what I'm going to tell you is exactly what came across this uh uh, tape, and you can get this, and like uh, I was telling you about the Peer site, if anyone wants to hear this, go to the Peer Paranormal, okay. uh, New Oxford, uh, uh, Pennsylvania. Right. He has got it posted on the site. All right. But here's what was said. Jan sits on the bed, and she says, because you remember, there's 51,000 people died in three days in Gettysburg. Right. That's a lot of energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jan says, is there any messages you would like for me to send back to your loved ones? Jan pauses. Then she says, you can sit here on the bed. This is when a voice comes across this tape player, and I'm not in the room, my wife is. Okay. This is when a voice comes across the tape player answering the first question. Now, remember, the first question said, are there any messages you would like to send back to your loved ones? A voice comes across and says, and I'm not talking about something like a snip or something like that. I'm talking about a regular okay. voice that you can definitely hear. It says, I ain't wanted, and they'll miss me. 
Now, when I heard that, that's one of the saddest things I ever heard. Here is a ghost spirit entity, whatever it is, mm -hmm. making a statement like that after a hundred and something years. Well, wow. and it sends cold chills up and down your spine when you hear something like this. Mm -hmm. you, you said and when you, I first, I was, I was sitting here at the kitchen table the first time I heard it, mm -hmm. and when I heard it, I was blown away by what I was hearing. And if you go to the, like I said, if you go to the Pierce site, mm -hmm. he has he has it on there, and uh, it's just plain as day. Is is that P E E R? Is that P E E R? Uh, yes, sir. P E E R Paranormal. Okay. That's I'd be the search engine right. and okay, it's through Oxford, sure. uh, Pennsylvania. Okay, and so so you say your wife, the skeptic, got that. Uh, my wife, well, she's the one who had the, the mm -hmm. tape player in there, but see, the tape player was on the mantel. Yeah, right. They were sitting on the bed. Okay. But it was just plain as day. Wow. And what got me was uh, when I heard this, it honestly and truly, I started thinking, hey, wait a minute. This can't be right. So you're in your mind, you're going over every mm -hmm. single aspect of the whole mm -hmm. thing. But when you hear this, it's right into the mic. Wow. And uh, if you, if okay. uh, Daniel, if you get the opportunity to mm -hmm. look at the site, I guarantee you, yeah. you will absolutely love sure. it. It's a beautiful yeah. site that Steve's made All right. up. All right, I'll, I'll and, be there uh, after the show. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Okay. When when you see the evidence we got there, mm -hmm. well, uh, the evidence really came from me, and but it's posted, and uh, I, I can't say anything else about it. Okay. I mean, it was real. Okay. And that's that's what uh, that's what we like more than anything else. I, I won't even I won't even talk unless I know it actually happened. Mm -hmm. uh, how much more time we got? Oh, well, we're at the end of it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. When you're getting ready to get off here, all right. It has been a pleasure talking to you, sir. Okay. And anybody who's listening to me, just remember, I'm just a normal human being. And I've just got stuff that I can't explain. I'm not going to try to explain it. And if anybody out here is religious, I am not putting religion down. I will not do that. Mm. Because uh, if there's anybody on the face of this earth who believes in something, it's me. And uh, I just I just appreciate talking to on your show. And uh, if, uh, if anybody wants to email me, it's ghosthunter1863 at yahoo.com. And I'd be glad to talk to anybody or, or, or email you back. Or if I can help you in any way, shape, or form, just holler. Excellent. Alan Gross, uh, thank you so much for coming on the broadcast. Can we have you on again sometime? Anytime you want. I, I'm serious. I, I really enjoy it because, I mean, you're a very uh, skeptical man, and I enjoy talking to you, Dan. Okay. Thank you so much. And t t tell your tell your people there are with them. I'm thinking of them. Just think like I'm thinking of everybody else. And maybe one of these I'll I'll see you on that Maury Corbett show, and we'll let the Holy decide if it's real or it's not. There you go. All right. Thanks a lot, Dan. Thank you, Daniel. Have a great one. All right. Bye bye. You have been listening to The Edge with Daniel Ott. To subscribe to The Edge newsletter. Log on to TheEdgeAM.com. That's TheEdgeAM.com, where you can find out more about the guests and topics discussed on the air. The Edge is being brought to you by Internet Solutions, home of affordable website design and low-cost Internet access. Visit Internet Solutions at ES4.com. That's ES4.com. Until next week, for The Edge Radio Broadcast, I'm Chris Moore. See you on the edge. News on the USA Radio Network is next.